All right, guys, welcome back to another Master Apprentice video. Today, we've got a lot of news regarding LEGO Star Wars stuff. Um, most of this stuff is going to be 2025 sets coming out January. But we are going to be talking about some May sets as well. Um, it's A lot of these are rumored for May. Um, and it doesn't seem like we have any March sets, which is weird because they've kind of split them up a lot. Uh, they've kind of lessened the January and May wave and kind of added some to the March wave. And so we get a couple of sets pretty much every other month, is, it feels like. Uh, but it looks like they're going to be getting rid of the May and have a bigger January wave and a bigger May wave um, this year. And just have pretty much no March wave. So with all of that, we are going to talk about some, I think, under the radar news. I came remember the last time LEGO Star Wars did this. Uh, they announced they're going to be putting a lot of the sets that they were going to be retiring at the end of 2024 and pushing them back an extra year. And one of them is pretty important, as we'll talk about later, but I'll talk about it here in a second. The first set is going to be 75304, Darth Vader's helmet. Then set 75345, the 501st Battle Pack. Set 75347, the TIE Bomber set. Set 75347, the Coruscant Gunship. And set 75356, MIDI Scale Executor. Set 75357, the Ghost and Phantom 2. And lastly, set 75333, Kenobi Jedi Starfighter. That last one's pretty important, as we'll talk about later. Um, a lot of these, most of these came out last year, 2024. Um, a lot of them came out uh, like late, like the October wave. Um, couple of them came out a little bit before that um I, I don't necessarily know the rhyme and reason for all of these but one of them i know has a lot of importance of staying on the shelf as we talk about later on like i said so mm -hmm. now we're gonna get into all the sets coming in january most likely uh, some of these could be pushed back to march uh because some of these we don't have all the information on but we'll, we're gonna assume these are coming out january and the first set we have is actually an unknown set number, funny enough. It's supposed to be the ATAT -AT pilot helmet. Um, so it's very similar to the Thai pilot helmet, except it's pretty much white. Um, that's like the biggest difference you could say. The design and layout is very similar. There's a little bit different printing, uh, but the, the layout is relatively simple. And if you've got the Thai pilot helmet when it came out, it's a pretty good build. So I don't imagine it's going to be better, if not the same worst case scenario. There's no price or piece count or anything like that, but we can imagine again, probably similar to that tie pilot, both in price and piece. The next set we got is set number three zero seven zero eight, the Millennium Falcon poly bag. Also, no price in pieces, but this is not too much special. It's a poly bag. We get them every year. And this is the last set we have for the January wave that we don't have the price or piece, but we can kind of speculate. And that's going to be set seven five four zero zero. Plo Koon's Jedi Starfighter. Um, same thing. We've gotten a couple of Jedi Starfighters. We've always seen to get them pretty much every other year, if not every year. Uh, this will probably be similar to Kenobi's, as his was like the most recent that wasn't Bob's. Jedi Bob Starfighter is a little bit different because it had some upgrades. Um, so this will be probably similar to like $30, $35. And hopefully it has three minifigures. That last minifigure we'd have to speculate. It's, you know, it's a good chance it could only have two. Uh, but hopefully three. Obviously, we'll be getting Plo Koon and his astromech, but that's all we know about that set. The next set we have is 75401, Ahsoka's Jedi Starfighter. Uh, the rumored price is $44.99, $45. Uh, 290 pieces, three minifigures, Young Ahsoka, R4A7, and Clone Wars Anakin. Young Ahsoka with the smaller legs, so obviously young as we've seen the Clone Wars. Uh, three minifigures if you count the droid. Again, high price in comparison to that. We're going back to that Kenobi's Jedi Starfighter. I've been comparing everything to that recently, but... This is the Gen 2 Starfighter. This isn't the one, like the arrow shape one. This is like the wider one that we see in Episode 3. So that might have something to do with the price because those ones always seem to be a little bit more expensive. And this is rumored to have a brand new co uh, cockpit piece, like the cover, um, like a print and everything. So that should be nice. We'll see how that turns out. Next, we have Set 75402, the ARC-170 Starfighter. This is going to be rumored to be $70 with 479 pieces, four minifigures with the clone oddball pilot, Captain Jag, another clone pilot, then a standard clone pilot, and then lastly, R4P44, an astromech droid. 
Now, a lot of these guys we've gotten in other ARC-170 sets, so it shouldn't be too different, just pretty much upgraded prints. Um, and it's going to be really fun to get this. I, I'm assuming it's the Revenge of the Sith. It could not be, but it's going to be 20th anniversary Revenge of the Sith next year. And we've really only seen the ARC-170 in Revenge of the Sith. Obviously, we've seen it in Clone Wars as well, but like people know it from Revenge of the Sith. Like, that's where it made its big premiere. Uh, so it should be a really awesome set. Um, and for people who complain about the clones because they don't like the helmet holes or the prints, this should be something to look forward to because it, they're clones. So they have a different helmet and everything. So it's going to be exciting. I am personally super excited for this set. Next set we got is set number 75403, a buildable Grogu and Pram. Uh, rumored to be $100, 1,048 pieces. Uh, just one minifigure and Grogu. So, yeah. The next three, I'm just going to kind of put all together. I'll give the specifics, but we have set 75404, set 75405, and set 75406. These are all supposed to be midi scale ships. Two of them we have names and details. One of them we don't, but a lot of rumors are speculating this is another midi scale. I don't know why we don't have the details for this one at the moment, but we just don't, at least at the time of the recording. The first one set 75404 midi scale acclimator not the venator like a lot of people expected but it's gonna be the acclimator it's gonna be 50 dollars with 450 pieces i'm really excited about this set i don't think it's, i think it's gonna be really hard for lego to mess this one up. i think it's gonna be really cool then the set 75405 is gonna be the mini scale home one 70 dollars with 559 pieces i'm excited about this one home one's a really cool ship it's obviously got that really unique mon palomarian ship design where it's got like the bulbous is kind of all around it it's gonna be really cool to see the building techniques that they go use to make this it, they were never going to be able to make a, a large scale one i think this is the best way for them to do it and i'm really excited to see how it turns out the next one we have is set number seven five four one zero a four plus mandalorians in one nabooing starfighter um thirty dollars 92 pieces uh many figures are unknown at the time but i mean count at least we can kind of assume mandalorian is going to be in there and probably grogu uh, I mean, there's not too much to say about this. We've seen these four plus sets before, mostly in the Young Jedi Adventures, or at least recently in the Young Jedi Adventures, and they're just big pieces, make a ship, nothing too special. So, yeah. They've been pretty forgiving with, like, how many minifigures and how unique they go in. Like, the, they did a whole new Yoda mold and build, even though we've had a Yoda already. So, you know, maybe we can see a cool, more childlike uh, mold or print for these characters. Uh, then we're going to go into the May wave next. So that's as far as we know, the January wave. Uh, we're going to have set 75399, the U-Wing for $80. Now the rest is unknown, uh, but $80 is the price point of the other U-Wings. So we can assume either a little bit of a downgrade, like a little bit smaller, because there's no way like was going to keep that same size for the same price. So probably a little bit smaller, which is unfortunate. Um, but the rest we don't know. So we don't know the piece, the piece count, the minifigures or anything like that. The next one we have is set number 75407, a buildable Star Wars logo, uh, rumored to be about $80, piece count is unknown, and possibly the minifigure George Lucas. Uh, we, we don't know exactly what this could look like. I mean, Star Wars can be done in different ways. It could be done white, yellow. It could have a background. It might not have a background, but either way, this looks like a kind of a, a cool piece to put on your shelf to show that this is a Star Wars shelf. I mean, stupid, but kind of cool. And I uh, believe a George Lucas minifigure has been made one time and was an employee gift to other Lego employees, but that was it. So this could be really cool. Yeah, the George Lucas thing was rumored to be in the set. And then of recent, there's been some leakers saying that's not the case anymore. I'm keeping my hopes up. It'd be really fun to get that. Uh, then we have set 75408, the Django Fett helmet retailed to either be 60 or $70. I would assume probably 70 uh, piece count is unknown. No figures, obviously. This is cool. I'm glad they're bringing back the helmets. I, I thought the helmets were really cool. I was kind of annoyed when they said they're just done with them. Like they just kind of said we're not doing that anymore. And then a year later, they're bringing them back. Uh, that, that that just seems weird. Why would you even announce that if you guys are going to bring them back right away? Like you guys didn't wait that long. Um, and there's just so many cool different helmets you put out there. I love that they did clones. There's so many other cool clones and Mandalorians and helmets they could have done. So I'm glad they're bringing them back and bringing some cool ideas. And this does tie into our next set, which is a really out of left field set that got leaked or revealed. Uh, it's going to be set 75409, the UCS Django Fett Slave 1 or UCS 
uh, Jango Fett's Starfighter. They probably won't say Slave One. Everyone knows it's a Slave One. Uh, it's going to be anywhere from like 200 to 350, probably 250. We're looking at that. Similar to the Boba Fett's uh, Slave One UCS set that came out a couple of years prior. It's going to be the same size, same build. It probably would just be a color swap at that. Um, at least two figures to be confirmed, Jango Fett and Young Boba Fett. It could possibly have two more. Like I said, the Boba Fett Slave One UCS set that came out a couple of years ago had four. So maybe we could expect more but none have been revealed for them. Um, and I think this is really cool. I think this does have a direct correlation to Kenobi Starfighter that is staying on shelves because those are both relatively minifigure size accurate. Um, at least the UCS set is with minifigures and Kenobi's is, a Starfighter is, right? So I think it's really cool. I'm kind of glad Lego did that. That's going to tempt me to buy this set almost. Uh, I think it's really fun um, to each other. Um, I'm, I'm glad Lego kind of went out and said we're gonna keep the kenobi starfighter even though it's been out for like three and a half years now or it's gonna be so it's gonna be a really fun set and the final set we got on this may wave is set number seven five four one six a buildable chopper hundred dollars piece counts unknown one minifigure you guessed it chopper so if you guys have seen the uh 25th anniversary lego r2d2 that's out right now i'm assuming it's gonna be that scale that size the same style by all means uh, one complaint I had about that was the pieces you swap them out to put the little arms out, but I bet you that's going to be repeated here. Either way, it, it goes with that. It goes with the C3PO. It looks, goes with the Chewbacca. It looks so, I mean, I, I like personally, they're doing these buildable characters and they're kind of keeping them in scale with each other. They might not be in scale in general, but like they're all close enough that it looks good. We put them on the shelf and I'm glad they're doing that with the chopper too. Like they're not straying away and doing something completely different. So there you guys have it. There's an exciting list. Uh, you know, we still haven't gotten the rest of 2024 set, but it's close enough that we thought we'd make a video of all the upcoming 2025 stuff. So let us know what you guys are most excited for. Uh, I'm really excited for that Arc 170, the UCS set. It's been a while since I've been this excited for a UCS set. Um, so I, I, yeah, let us know what you guys think down in the comments. Uh, with that, hope you guys did enjoy this video. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. All right, guys, real quick. I know we ended the video, but as I was about to upload it, I actually did upload it. I just didn't put it on public yet. Uh, we had some more leaks and details revealed for some Lego Star Wars sets. Uh, the first one is the U-Wing. We didn't really know anything about it, but it is going to be an Andor Season 2 set. So it's going to be coming out in the summer, probably after Andor Season 2 has come out or while it's premiering. It's going to be 594 pieces. And it's going to be $70. We thought it might be $80. It's going to be $70 with two Stormtroopers, the character Dedra from the show, K2SO, and Andor Cassian. The Jenga Fett helmet is confirmed to be $70 now. We were debating $70 or $80. It's confirmed $70. And then the set that I was talking about earlier in the video, set 75406, we thought it might be a MIDI scale. Well, it did get confirmed. It's going to be a MIDI scale Kylo Ren shuttle. Uh, it's going to be about $50 with 450 pieces. Uh, and it is going to be the 10-year anniversary of Force Awakens. So I think it's nice that they are going to do at least one sequel set. It's been kind of a while since we've gotten one. Uh, besides that Christmas diorama from recent, it's been a while since we've got any sequel sets. And then the Plo Koon Jedi Starfighter has been confirmed to be $40 and 230 pieces. So there's that for you as well. Yep. And then they do have a battle pack slated for the summer. A lot of leakers have said they don't know what the battle pack is or when it's coming out, but there is one coming in the summer. I know a lot of fans were kind of getting worried because a lot of battle packs usually come out in the beginning of the year. We are still getting one this year, just coming in the summer. So, with that, we hope you guys did enjoy the video, and now the video ends. Peace.